Hi there, Tom here. And in this video, I want to show you how to publish your campaigns to your own WordPress websites. Now, if you don't have your own website, don't worry. You can run all your campaigns using our domain. All your campaigns are published to our domain by default. So you can use our domain to drive traffic and capture leads. However, if you've got your own WordPress site and you want to embed your campaigns in it, you can do so using the Memestack plugin. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to head on over to the menu item for the plugin and I'm going to download it. There you go. So that's downloaded. And now I'm going to head on over to my WordPress website. I'm going to install that plugin on my website. So I'm clicking on Add New, Plugin, Upload. choose file and I'm going to install the plugin I just downloaded. Install now and there you go it's been installed and I'm going to activate the plugin clicking on that link there and that's activated the Memestack plugin on my new website for me. So there we go you can see in the menu there's a new item for WP Memestack. So if I click on that it's going to bring up the one setting that you need to activate and that's entering your memestack site URL. So I'm going to enter my site URL so that will be memestack.net slash your site. So I'm going to save that and that means that it's going to be now pulling in campaigns from that site. So now I'm going to put it into action. I'm going to go and test it out. So let's find my plugin test page. Here we go. I'm going to edit that page. As you can see, there's a, a icon here for WP Memestack. So I'm going to just click on that icon, and you've got two options here: select campaign and display type. So select campaign. That's going to be pulling in all campaigns that are on my site. So I'm going to select dog T-shirt contest to pull in, and then display type. So you've got three publishing options, inline, overlay and full screen. So I'm going to show you the inline version to begin with. Select it and insert shortcode. So that's inserted the code for it. I'm going to update my site. And view this page. So all of this is part of my website but it's pulled in my meme stack campaign which is sitting in line there. So now I'm going to show you the other two options. So I'm going to go back to the page. I'm going to delete that inline code and click on my new stack icon again. And I select the same campaign, but this time I want to publish it as an overlay. So this pulls up some different options for me. It's basically an overlay as a pop-up that comes up on top of my web page that's triggered by a button. So the button label, which I'm just going to call test for now, and then button width. I'm going to select it as 300 pixels wide. And then I can choose a color. I'll make it red. And the button font color, I'm going to make white. There we go. And then finally, button alignment. So I'm going to keep it as aligned to the left. So insert the shortcode. And there we go, that's inserted the code for me. I'm going to update my page. And let's take a look. Here we go, view page. And there we go, this is the button that I've just created. And if you click on that, it will pull up the campaign. So there you go, it's pulled up as an overlay and anyone who lands on your site will be able to enter your campaign. So finally I'm going to set, show you the full screen option. So I'm going to go back and edit the page again. Let's get rid of that code. Click on my meme stack icon again. I'm going to go for the same campaign, dog t-shirt contest screen 
insert short code update there we go view page and this time it will show as a full screen option Hi there, Tom Murray here, co-creator of Viral Lead Machine. Now, I want to take you inside a campaign that we ran recently that netted us over 1,000 leads in just a few days from scratch with under $10 of Facebook ad spend. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about this campaign right here. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to build. So, we ran this campaign during the recent Soccer World Cup. Now, anyone who followed this tournament will know about the Suarez biting incident, which spawned a ton of memes across the internet, and we were responsible for our fair share of them ourselves. So, when this happened, we decided to run a contest among soccer fans using this image right here, that Suarez with some fangs, and we wanted to find out who could come up with the funniest meme. So I just did a quick Google search to get this image, it took all of 30 seconds to find, and I decided to add an extra incentive by offering a soccer shirt as a prize for the best meme. So as you can see it says the best meme wins an official Premier League shirt. By the way, it's really easy to get inspiration for meme contest ideas, it doesn't matter which niche you're in, just look on Twitter or Facebook at what's trending in your niche. So at the time, Suarez was trending in the soccer niche, so we knew this was going to go viral. So I'm now going to show you exactly how I created this campaign in real time. So here goes, let's, let's go inside and go to add new campaign. So I've created a new campaign and I'm going to call it Suarez Caption Contest. Okay, so first up, this space here is where we introduce our campaign. So here's text editor options, so you can visually edit your text. You've got font size, font style, font color, etc. Um, you can upload an image using the add media button if you want to show an image of the prize, for example, or you can even add a YouTube video if you'd like. But for this one, I'm just going to copy in the text I've already prepared right here. So that's the, tech, the exact text that I use for this campaign. It's really simple. So next up's the important part, your base meme image. So I'm going to scroll down here to the meme contest settings and click on upload. And select my Suarez image, which I've already uploaded, and insert it into the post. Now I'm going to check enable email capture because I want people who enter the contest to enter their email so that I can contact the winner and I also want to build my list and as you can see as soon as I did that it came up with the autoresponder settings so you can connect your email capture form to your autoresponder so that you automatically build your list as people take part in your contest so I'm going to connect this campaign to my soccer leads list. So I use MailChimp, so I'm going to click on MailChimp and I'm going to put in my MailChimp API, which is this here. And now I select my soccer leads list. So there's my soccer leads list. I'll just show you it over here in MailChimp. Soccer leads, 1,375 captured so far. So that's from when we ran it previously. Okay, so now this campaign is connected to my list. So next up, I'm going to do the thank you page. So this has got exactly the same settings as above. You can change font size, uh, font style, text color, etc. So I'm just going to copy in my thank you page text 
which is very simple, like what you've created, then share with your friends. And I'm just going to adjust that text so that it looks a bit more bold, and I'm going to center it. There we go, that's my share text done. So you can also add um, a redirect button on your thank you page. So you just check this box here and it pops up with a secondary call to action and I'm going to add in a link to a soccer merchandise site where I'm an affiliate. So in goes my call to action and I'm going to just style that here and center it and that's all good. I'm just going to put in my link for my button and the button text, check it out now and that's our thank you page all done. So we're nearly done already so I'm just going to head on over to set my campaign style now and that's dead simple. I just need to select my background style you can select a pattern or a color or an image. For mine I've got an image that I want to use which is this soccer net here so I'm going to insert that into my post and I'm going to select a skin style. So I'm going to leave it with the default skin style which is an orange color for my box because that works nicely with the green background and that is my style set up. I could add a countdown timer if I want but I'm just going to leave this campaign as it is because I know that this campaign works. So finally I'm just going to set up my share settings. This is what people will see when the meme is shared taking your campaign viral. So Suarez Bike Caption Contest win an official Premier League shirt and I'm just going to copy in this description text here and we have our share setting set up and that's it that's taken what three minutes to do so right now all that's left to do is to hit the publish button and my campaign is created so let's take a look at what we've done and there we go so let's have a test spin of our new campaign as you can see it's the, the text that I put in for the introduction there there's my image and here is my form so I'm gonna scroll down as if I was entering the contest and put in a caption I'm banned because Suarez got banned for biting. Bite me. I'm just going to move this down and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to enter that into the contest. And submit. And now I have created my meme. There's my thank you page text, like what you've created and share with your friends. I like the look of that so I'm going to share it. And this is the part when the contest goes viral. Now this is just a test so I'm going to only share this as myself. There we go. And if you if I scroll down a bit more, we can see that there's the link to the soccer deals and check out these great soccer deals. You can you can add more text if you want, but I was just giving you an example there. I'm going to head over to Facebook and look what I've shared. So if I just update it, there's my shared meme. I'm banned. Bite me. That's for all my friends to see and if any of my friends see that and they click on it that will take them to the caption contest
that's free traffic right there and that's how we built a list of over a thousand leads from scratch in just a few days on a tiny budget because people shared it and they give you free exposure and that gives you free traffic and free leads and as you can see this is so simple anyone can do it 